Good morning. I just got out of the shower. I've done my skincare, put on my body lotion, and now I'm just finishing up my second cup of coffee out here on the back patio. And if you don't know Lucy, this is Lucy. She's my golden doodle. Her goal in life is to lick me and get attention. She's pretty good at it too. She's about 14 or 15 months old. She's still a puppy. Really, she's still a puppy. The dots aren't connecting yet for her. So she's going to try to be in the middle of everything all while I'm talking. I have some fun stuff to share with you guys today. I actually got a box, a huge box from Milani with a whole collection of cream stick eyeshadows and some lipsticks. You know, the liquid lipstick that stay on. And I thought we'd try those today. I'm going to do a full face of makeup and swatch all the eyeshadows and all the lipsticks and then select one to wear. I had intended to show you guys the big box from Milani, but <laughs> I was super efficient and already recycled it. So I don't have it to show you, but it came in a huge box. And luckily we have all the colors. So we'll be able to swatch them today. The eyeshadows are shimmer shadows and I'm not a real big shimmer shadow person anymore, but I thought we'd go ahead and try them. I know some of you can still wear shimmer shadows and it looks gorgeous for me, not so much, but I'll go ahead and give it a whirl today and we'll see how they look. The lipsticks I'm kind of excited about. They're, you know, those liquid lipsticks that don't come off until you put oil on your lips and take them off. So those are always really nice if the colors are good and if the formula really works. So we'll give those a try. In addition, I'm doing a live this afternoon. You guys have probably already seen it by the time this goes up, but you can see the setup and how I do that and sort of thing. So if you ever watch one of my lives, you can know what it looks like in real time. See this? It's constant. It's constant attention time. You know, the thing that Lucy does is she is next to me all the time, which is really disturbing for Dex the cat because Dex can't get in there for any petting. So sometimes I'll put Lucy in her crate during the day for a little nap and then Dex can come up and I can give him pets and that. And that's nice for him. This out here on the patio is where I probably spend 95% of my time when I'm home and not sleeping. Truly, this is where we live and the animals get up in the morning with me and they head directly to the back patio because we all come out here and sit and Dex can watch the birds come up to the bird feeder and Lucy can go in the backyard and run around and chase her ball. It's just so lovely. I love this back patio so much. You know, it's all screened in. So it's kind of like you're in this big bird cage and some people call them bird cages. So you can feel like you're outside without the bugs. And I appreciate that. Plus it has a solid roof over it. So if it's raining, I can still be out here and enjoying the fresh air, which I love. And just just feel like I'm outside in a little more protected way. All right, so I am going to go dry my hair a little bit and I'll meet you in the makeup room and we'll give that new Milani line a try. Okay, <laughs> my hair is sort of dry. And while I wait for my skincare to absorb into my skin a little more, I thought we would try all the different colors of the eyeshadow sticks. So here's the little flyer that they had little. This is huge. Look at the size of this inside that huge box. And it looks like there's eight different shades of the gilded eyeshadow stick from Milani. This is not sponsored by Milani. They have no idea I'm doing it, but I imagine they're going to be thrilled because they sent me this in hopes that I would talk about it, which I'm doing. Um, it says eyeshadow goes one and done with your makeup bags, soon to be bestie gilded eyeshadow. Okay. So these are all shimmers. I'm not a big shimmer girl these days, but we'll go ahead and try one one of these for the look today. I'll swatch them first and then we'll go ahead and pick one for the look. I want to do something fairly neutral because I don't know <laughs> which one of the lipsticks I'm going to pick. So let's go ahead and dive in. I got them all unwrapped. You know, in the little plastic casing it took me about two years. I'm actually two years older now. <laughs> so we're ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them on my arm here. This first one is called Blossom. I haven't even tried any of these yet. So we'll see how it goes. So this right here is Blossom. Next up we have Rose. I can tell you that they feel really creamy. I wonder how they're going to dry down. So that's Rose and Blossom. Next up is Sand. I have a feeling I'm going to like this one. Very neutral. Sand color right there. So that's Sand. Next up is Desert. I wonder if I should have started higher on my arm. So that's Desert right there. A little bit more peachy orange. This is Sand. This is Rose. And this is Blossom. This is Sterling. Put it right there. Kind of a silver gray. That's pretty. So that's Sterling. Now we have Lily. 
I'm gonna have just enough room. So this is Lily. It's pretty. It's got like a little purple tone to it, a little mauve -y. Next up we have Moss. I'm getting near the end here, folks. So this is Moss, a little bit of a green tone, so a gray green. So Moss is right there. And the last is Terra. This looks to be the darkest, right at the very bottom. So that's a darker kind of brownish black right there. So those are all eight colors. I wonder if they set down and stay. Oh, look, the ones I put on first, they're not moving. That's good. <laughs> So which one shall I pick for today? Let's see. You guys, I am not going to be surprising at all. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the sand for today. Very, very neutral kind of taupey, light taupey tone. So we'll go ahead and use that for today's look. I'm gonna start in on the makeup now, but before I do, I wanna talk about a new product from City Beauty. You guys know I love City Beauty products. I'm actually working with them all year long. This portion of the video is sponsored by City Beauty. They have so many products. They're always releasing new products. I can hardly keep up, but this one is kind of cool. This is the Ultra Fill Marionette Line Treatment. Now, if you don't know what your marionette lines are, they are pretty much right here. These are your nasal labial folds. These are your marionette lines. Why do they call them marionette lines? Because it looks like you're a little marionette because you've got these lines down here and I definitely have them. They're a lot better now that I've had my skincare treatment program going for about three years than they used to be. This is to fill up that area or to add plumpness to that area so they're less noticeable. But I want you guys to tell me if I'm making something up or if this is real. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Now I want you to look at my marionette net lines right now okay I'm gonna take one pump of this I've been using this for the past several weeks it's kind of blown me away so I just have one pump on my hand and I'm gonna rub it into my marionette lines and any leftover I'm gonna put up on my lips you know where I have lip lines now watch I'm gonna rub that in do my marionette lines look softer and better than they did before they put that on I don't know if I'm making that up or if it's a real thing or if it's just the rubbing them that does it but whenever I put that stuff on it looks like my marionette lines are softer I can't figure it out anyway this is the new product from City Beauty it's the ultra fill marionette line treatment of course there's always a discount code when they offer new products and launch new products it'll be all listed in the description box down below if you want to give it a try I'm really happy with City Beauty products they're a little bit more than things like the ordinary and that sort of thing but I find that they really do work and I really do enjoy a lot of their products so Ultra Bill Marionette line treatment from City Beauty you might want to check it out. Okay, I'm going to start starting with my makeup now. Today I'm going to use the Dermatology. This is the number one primer. It says Blur and Prep. I really like this. It's kind of a gel gripping primer. Dermatology does everything they do really well. If you're into sunscreen, they have what I think are the best sunscreens on the market. And actually their physical tinted moisturizer, which is an SPF 44, I believe, is the one I'll use on my face when I wear sunscreen. Like if I'm gonna go out kayaking all day long in the sun all day long, I'll put a little bit of that on because I do really like it. Next up is my Beauty Pie Under Eye Genius. This just knocks down the purple circles and puts down a good base for my concealer. For eyeshadow primer, I'm gonna use the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. This just helps to cover up all the doodads, discoloration, veining, and that sort of thing. On my lids, I didn't used to have those when I was younger. <laughs> I have them now. I roughed my eyebrows in before I started in on my makeup, so I'll go ahead and just do the detail work on those towards the end of the whole makeup process. Next up, I'm gonna use this new Milani eyeshadow stick in the color Sand. Let me go ahead and squatch this again on the back of my hand. Oh, it's not gonna stick because I have lotion on the back of my hand. Oh, well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all over the movable lid and pat it in. It feels very creamy. It's not pulling or tugging at all. So here's here's the eyeshadow stick in sand. I think it's pretty. It was really easy to put on. I just ran it over my eyelid and patted it out with my finger. Let's see how long it lasts. I like that color. It's a nice neutral color. My question is, I wonder if they're gonna come out with this line in matte shades or if it's just always going to be shimmer. I would love to see a line of these colors in matte shades, Milani. If you're listening, 
For foundation today, I'm using the Revlon's Illuminance. You guys know I'm in love with this foundation. So pretty, leaves a nice glow on the skin, drugstore price, just everything good. So this is one pump. I usually use closer to two pumps, but today I'm going to see if I can just do one pump and see if it just looks a little bit more natural. This is my BK Beauty 101 brush. <laughs> I've been using this as my foundation brush for a long time. I'm just patting that foundation into the skin. And the reason that I'm patting is not to disturb my skincare underneath. Sometimes it can pill up, although what I'm using right now really never has, but I just don't want to hassle with it if it does. So I'm just patting that all around my face. I'm going to take my sponge and just press that into the skin. The reason I go in with the sponge afterwards is because it just leaves the most beautiful finish. It doesn't really pick up the foundation. The sponge is a little bit damp, so it leaves the foundation and just kind of presses it in. Tarte Shape Tape Creamy Concealer. I'm using all my old favorites today. I really want to get my makeup done so we can try the Milani lipsticks. Those are exciting to me. So just a little bit of the creamy concealer underneath my eyes. BK Beauty 205 brush. I want to talk about makeup brushes. <laughs> I used to think that makeup brushes were silly, like they weren't really necessary. Oh my gosh, do I feel differently now because I've been using makeup brushes for a few years. Having good makeup brushes really, really helps with your makeup application, like really. A good sponge and some good brushes. BK Beauty is a nice, moderately priced brush line for really, really quality brushes. You can get a lot more expensive brushes that'll be lifetime brushes. I don't think these are exactly lifetime brushes. They'll last you a long, long, long time. Good prices, good selection. Of course, Angie has a whole selection with BK Beauty. You know, Angie from Hot and Flashy, where she really designed some perfect brushes for the mature face. So you can check those out. Anywho, my two cents is that brushes do really make a difference. This cloud set powder to set down that concealer. This is a refer brush. I love refer brushes. This is the number four brush. Refer is more pricey, really worth it, lifetime brushes. In other words, they're just gonna last you forever. I'm gonna go back in with my sponge and just press that powder in. This is the Catrice Triangle Artist Contour Stick. I think that's the name of it. This is so good. Catrice is a little bit harder to find these days. I think you can just pretty much get it from the Catrice website. This is a really affordable product and it's really good. You can see it has a nice cool tone contour color. Now I'm gonna take my stipple brush and just blend that in. Look at what a beautiful job it does on contouring the face and under my chin. It really is a nice little product. Today I'm going to use the Honest Beauty Peony Pink Blush. This is a cream blush. I really do like their product line. Just kind of a nice neutral tone blush. I wear it with a lot of different colors. Now I'm going to take the bottom end of my sponge. This is actually a perfusion sponge. I got it in a set of sponges at Walmart. Oh my gosh. What a great buy. I haven't been able to find them online. I suppose if I went to the Perfusion website, I would find them. If you're in Walmart and you see a set of sponges from Perfusion and there's a bunch of them, I can highly recommend it. So what I'm doing is I'm just pressing around the outside of that blush application to really blend it into the skin. Now I'm going in with the Makeup by Mario Highlighter in Pearl. I've been using this for Gosh, a year and a half now, or maybe more. Really, really love it. It does sell out. So if you can find it and you want it, snag it. <laughs> it might not be there next week. Now I'm going to go back in with that Kosas Cloud Set Powder, get a little bit on my brush, tap it off, and I'm just going to hit a few areas that I want to knock down the shine a little bit. And if my foundation is going to break up, it's going to break up on my chin. So I always try to hit it there, not getting it in my marionette lines because it just makes them look worse. Now I'm going to take the BK Beauty 103 brush and I'm just going to smooth everything out. In my mind, blending is the most important part of makeup when you're a mature woman because we have so many additional doodads on our faces that we don't have when we're younger. So I'm going to take this big Refer 30 brush. 
big fluffy brush and take my hourglass powder in dim light get a little bit on my brush tap it off and then that's just going to go kind of as the icing on the cake charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray refer eyelash curler milani stay put tight liner I'm really on the hunt for an eyeliner pencil automatic that will stay. My Lay Liner from L'Oreal, they discontinued it, which is a heartbreak for me. This stays pretty good. It's almost as though I'll put it on. It's not dried down completely. It will transfer to my under eye area. I'll clean that off and then it stays pretty much for the rest of the day. So it doesn't stay right away. It does transfer a little bit on the inside corner. So I'm giving this one a whirl and then I'll probably work through a number of eyeliner pencils trying to find my new holy grail. L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Base. I did a full video on how important a lash base can be to longer lashes. I have been dinking around with this and what I have found for me, a lot of people will disagree, is that when I put this on, if I let it dry down all the way, it works a lot better. That's for me. A lot of people say you wanna go in with your mascara right away. I have found that letting it dry really makes my lashes look a lot longer. So that's what I've been doing. And when I put it on, I make sure that I really get it out to the end of my lashes because I'm really looking for length as well as volume. So I want to make sure it's on the tip of my lashes. So I'm going to let this dry down for just a couple of minutes. I'll be right back and we'll do the mascara. Maybelline Sky High Mascara, still a favorite. I have three mascaras that I really like right now. This one, the Perversion from Urban Decay, hate the name, love the mascara, and the Honest Beauty Mascara. Those are my three favorites right now. Okay, so this is one and a half coats, the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, I love it. <laughs> Such great mascara. I'm just starting with the lipsticks. I'm really excited about this one. Okay, I'm gonna start swatching the lipsticks now. There are 12 lipsticks in this new Stay Put line. It looks like there are six kind of softer neutral colors, like peachy, pinky, soft neutrals, and six that are like red, deeper colors. So let's start in the more neutral, soft, pinky line, because that's probably gonna be more of what I'll be using. So this first one is called Glow Up start up higher this time so right here oh feels kind of soft very very nice feeling so this is glow up this one is snatched right here so a little bit darker but still in that pink family this is called 10 out of 10 i'm not kidding it's 10 out of 10. that's kind of a cute name so right here a little bit more of the brown neutral family this is called the moment some of these are hard to open Ooh, that's pretty i kind of like that one i like all of those i would wear all of those this one is called vibe right here that's a little bit darker but still very neutral and this one is iconic go ahead and put that right there Okay, that's very similar to Vibe. So those are the six kind of pinky neutral tones. Maybe I'll, maybe, where should I, where should I do the other ones? Maybe down here. This one is called Main Character. Now these are the redder, brighter, more vibrant colors. This is Main Character right here. That's a pretty red. It's kind of a cherry red, really nice. This is called That Girl. Okay, this is more of a tomato red. So a little bit of a warmer red. This is more of a cooler pinky red. A little warmer red here. This is called We Stan. I don't get that. It's not stand, it's S-T-A-M. Is there something about that that I don't know? You guys can fill me in. So this looks darker. A darker red right here. Kind of a warm, dark red. This one's called Unhinged. I can relate to that. There are days I'm unhinged. So right here. Oh, this is kind of a purpley red. So a little bit of a blue tone in that one. This one is called Red Flag. We've all seen red flags in our lives. So right down here, I imagine this is red red. Yeah, really pretty. So Red Flag. And this last one is more of a brick tone. It's called Go Off. So I think it's probably the deepest, richest tone. Yeah, that's kind of like a red, dark red brown right there. So that's Go Off right there. Which one should I use? <laughs> It'll probably be something from this category. I'm thinking either this one or this one. 
Let's go with this one. I forget the name, but I'll pick it out and let you guys know in just a sec. Okay, I'm all ready to go with the lips. This is the Beauty Pie Lip Liner in the color Rummy Pink. And this is the Milani Stay Put Lipstick in the color The Moment. I'm gonna go do my hair and get ready for my life. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Welcome in, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything beauty, fitness, and lifestyle for the over 50 woman. I am hopping on live today. What I want to talk about today is a meet and greet that we're putting together for Central Florida. For those of you who are in the Central Florida area, live in the area, maybe you're gonna be in the area, that sort of thing, it's just a fun, event that we're planning for all of the viewers of Pretty Over 50 who can make it. 